In 2013, a 19-year-old man from Virginia drank 0.9 liters one quart of soy sauce after being dared by his friends to do so. He went into a coma and nearly died from the extreme levels of salt in his body. Hypernatremia is a condition in which there is too much salt in the blood. When the bloodstream becomes saturated with salt, it draws water from other parts of the body, including the brain, in an attempt to lower the salt concentration. After the Virginia teen drank the soy sauce, he began having seizures. His friends brought him to the hospital, but by the time he arrived, he had already fallen into a coma. Doctors flushed the salt from his system using a mix of water and sugar dextrose. His sodium levels returned to normal five hours later, but he remained in the coma for three days before waking up on his own. Doctors said the young man was lucky to be alive. He was the first person to overdose on such a high amount of salt and survive without any lasting neurological problems. An Arkansas man suffered kidney failure as a result of drinking too much iced tea. The 56 years old man drank about 16 250 milliliters cup of iced tea every day. In May 2014, the man was admitted to the hospital after complaining of nausea, weakness and body aches. Doctors discovered that his kidneys were extremely clogged and irritated. They started him on dialysis, which he will probably be on for the rest of his life. The damage to the man's kidney was caused by a chemical called oxalate. This chemical occurs naturally in black tea, as well as other foods, such as rhubarb and spinach. The man from Arkansas was consuming 3 to 10 times more oxalate than the average American. According to the Harvard School of Public Health, consuming up to 4 cups of tea per day is a safe amount. Ingesting as little as 2 tablespoons of the spice can result in nutmeg toxicity. The spice contains a natural compound called myristicin, which has hallucinogenic effects that are similar to the eye from LSD. Using the spice as a drug is a product popular with teenagers and prison inmates because of its accessibility. But even though nutmeg is legal and easy to obtain, there are some very unpleasant side effects of ingesting the amount required to experience a high. Within an hour of consuming a large amount of nutmeg, users typically suffer severe gastrointestinal problems. After a few more hours, people can begin experiencing heart and nerve problems. This is especially dangerous for anyone with an undiagnosed heart problem. Hallucinations do not occur until several hours after ingesting nutmeg, which can lead people to consume additional amounts if they think they failed to take enough the first time. Widespread nutmeg intoxication cases were seen in the early 1900s and then again in the 60s before resurfacing more recently. Cruciferous vegetables are a family of nutrient-rich leafy green plants such as broccoli, Brussels sprouts and kale. These veggies are often recommended because they contain high levels of antioxidants and other health benefits, but eating too many leafy greens can have negative results. In 2011, a man was hospitalized after overdosing on Brussels sprouts at Christmas dinner. The man had a mechanical heart and was taking anticoagulants. Like most cruciferous vegetables, Brussels sprouts contain high amounts of vitamin K, which promotes blood clotting. The anticoagulants were necessary for the man's mechanical heart to operate effectively. When too much vitamin K counteracted the effects of the man's medications, he began experiencing sudden heart problems. Once doctors realized that the problems were due to the man eating too many Brussels sprouts, they were able to treat him. Eating too much broccoli or kale can result in hypothyroidism, where the thyroid gland fails to make enough thyroid hormone. Nutritional experts say that reasonable amounts of cruciferous vegetables offer many health benefits. The negative effects of eating too many only happen when people consume high doses. Warnings about consuming tuna are generally directed at pregnant women and small children, but the rest of us are also at risk if we overdo it at a sushi bar. Raw, cooked and canned tuna all contain mercury. Mercury is found in most types of fish, but bigger predatory fish contain higher concentration. Mercury is toxic to humans. Small amounts can be filtered out, but larger amounts will build up and result in mercury poisoning. The earliest signs of poisoning include poor coordination and numbness in the fingers and toes, followed by tremors and vision problems. Long-term mercury poisoning can affect memory function and impair the learning process. Severe cases can result in kidney problems, respiratory failure and death. For a person weighing 150 pounds or more, the FDA recommends consuming no more than one 6 ounces can of albacore tuna every 9 days.